<laughs> What's wrong with it? It's Peter like. Super <laughs> This reminds me of like a hairy Oompa Loompa. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's going on, guys? It's me, Rocky X. Coming at you today on some more Ark Survival Evolved from the Sons of Anarchy with the K Aberration Research Server. And this is it. We're rounding out all of the creatures that they updated in this first pass of the TLC update. We're finishing up with the Gigantopithecus. And I'm actually really excited to cover these guys. Kind of saved the best for last. I think they're going to be pretty awesome. So as you can see behind me, I spawned in several of them uh, just so we can get a look at some of the different um, color variations here on Aberration. I'm excited that they're on Aberration. First and foremost, I just think that Aberration needed some new dinos and, and creatures to begin with. But I think that they'll come in, in really handy out here. Uh, they added the Dire Bear, which is going to help to get fiber. These are going to help to get fiber. And they have a lot of new abilities that we need to cover. Let's just go ahead and cover what the changes are to start with here. So uh, on top of the model update, they got an animation update, of course. They got a sound pass, so they make different sounds. You hear that? You hear how that <laughs> when it dropped that turret, it was just a little bit squeakier? Yeah, so that was part of the sound pass. Um, it's going to receive an armor degrading attack. So this means when it fights, it'll do more damage to your armor's durability. It's important to note that the armor degrading attack will not affect the Yeti creatures found in game. So only the Gigantopithecus. We'll find a way to test that out. Um, it added a capability for it to climb zip lines, but it can't jump between them. It added a jump. It can now carry and throw small creatures, so like shoulder mounts and whatnot. Uh, and throwing has been made more accurate, similar to the crab. So let's take a look at them to start with. I think that they do look much improved. I wish that I had, like, I wish there was a way to stand one of the old ones next to it, but there's just no way. But the face looks a whole, whole lot better. The feet and the hands look a little bit better. I mean, that booty, though, that that booty, though, man, there's a clear defined crack. It just looks, looks amazing. And I like some of the different color variations and stuff on it as well. So there were no stat changes. All of the uh, stats for the Gigantopithecus should be the same. Messing with the wheel heel here. Uh, let's see. I didn't see any new options. So let's go ahead and see if we can cover some of the animations. Let's just pump a point, say, into health. I don't know if it's laughing. That was... Huh, is it? Let's see if it's the same thing again. Yeah, sure enough. I think he's got... I think it's belly laughing at me. It's like I'm tickling him or something. Okay, well, you got more health, bro. You're welcome for that. See, you hear that? Just a little bit squeaky. He's trying to eat it. This is... These things are wrong. Okay, so let's go over... Okay, so I'm not big at picking up, like, the... The subtle variations and stuff. So, does this walk like? <laughs> I'm too sexy for my clothes. Too sexy for my clothes. Will you look at my nose? <laughs> I don't know where that came from. It's just. Does that look any different? It just looks like he's on the runway. Does this walk walk animation look any different to you guys? I guess so. Maybe the arm swing and stuff is a little bit better. Yeah, he's got a shoulder. He's got some swag to it. He's got his shoulders in it. Let's see if um, the run animation. Let's see what that looks like. I'll get back here just a little bit so we can K mode out. I think the run animation is different. That looks a little bit better to me. Boo! Swooping stuff up while I'm running. That's exciting. Exciting stuff you get here. Okay, so uh, what else is there? We've got an attack. I think it's got the same attacks. We got, you know, these. Blah, 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 blah. We got, um, you can throw me at things, I think. In fact,. Yeah, so now we got a crosshair. This is going to help a ton. Oh, I'm going to ride it. The crosshairs are going to help a ton for throwing this because I was terribly inaccurate with it before. And then we've got C, which is to collect fiber and I guess berries too. And then at the same time, uh, it's to pick up the small creatures. And we'll show that in just a minute. So let's see if this attack animation looks any different. That really looks the same to me other than, you know, just the new model, which I didn't have an issue with the attack. To begin with, I thought it was kind of cool, but that looks pretty much the same to me. And uh, we should be able to piece this thing pretty. Oh yeah, pretty dadgum easily. They also added the jump, so now I can jump over dead carcasses like this. And the jump is like a big jump too. Like dude gets some air. Check this out. Boom. 
feels like he floats. Maybe even like, I don't know, to me, maybe even like a little too long. I'm not sure. <laughs> Hold on a second. This has got to look goofy from the front. Eh, not as goofy as I thought. It just doesn't feel right. It feels like they're in the air just a little bit too long to me, but it is what it is. I mean, surely they'd be powerful. They'd, they'd have a pretty good jump. All right, so let's see what kind of distance we can get here. If I try to have it chunk me, I don't know, top of that rock. There's no way I'm going to make the top of that rock, but uh, let's see. Just going to aim way the crap on up there. Drop a turd and then blur. Bl oh, God. I went, oh, God. Oh, I went a whole lot farther. Ah, went a lot farther than I thought I was going to go. Oh well, yeah, buddy. Okay. Not too shabby. I wish I could throw myself with the crab to compare. What we'll have to do is throw some tiny dinos and then see, you know, if they got the same arm strength. So let's take a look at its ability to carry small creatures here. You see, maybe I can pick up T-Bunny's bulb dog. Not T-Bunny, her bulb dog. There we go. So check that out. I think any shoulder mount that you can normally put on. Now the, oh, here's one thing that, oh, I just pooped all over it. Here's one thing that uh, I'm not a fan of, the way you dismount. Does, I mean, do you think possibly there could have been a better, <laughs> a better way to dismount this thing other than, you know, standing on its forehead? But check that out. I think that's really cool that you can throw shoulder pets on it, especially in Aberration. Uh, you can walk around and have a backup pet because my pets literally die every episode. Look, it's not even flat on it. Like it is on my character model. Okay. Uh, so you can have a backup pet or whatever. Have two different kinds of pets. Double the light. I don't know. Have one going on. The other one is recharging. But I do think it'll be super useful over here. And then, you know, on the island of Ragnarok, if you had a Dimorphodon up there or whatever, it can attack while, while you're attacking. Or you can actually uh, throw the creatures as well. I got to be real careful. I don't think this will go terribly far. I got to be real careful here. Because this is T-Bunnies. Let me get this. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh, no. There's a waterfall over there. Very well may have gone off. Nope. All is well. They do collect mushrooms just as well as they do fibers. So, like, oh, God, that's the wrong button. I'm so sorry, Bulldog. We'll meet again. <laughs> Here we go. It's, it's the same button. It's just when you hold it down whenever you want to pick something up or throw it, and then you just tap it if you're gathering. But it gets a ton. See, I'm already, like, way down. That ain't gonna work, bro. All right, let's check out the zip lines. I think there's one back here behind the house somewhere. Where's there a zip line? Oh, there it is. I see it. All right. Let's check out the way that this thing does zip lines, which is super important here in Aberration, especially for early games since these things aren't... Ah, God! What the... No! Good Lord Almighty. I wasn't scared. <laughs> Were you guys scared? Because I didn't get scared. Super important here in Aberration. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> okay, no, no, hold on a second. No, no, been around, bro. <laughs> this dude has some core strength. Check that out. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> what happens? Okay, I got to get to the top real quick. Oh, speed doing it. I see a problem already. <laughs> the, the tallness is not letting me out. Let me see if I just jump. Ah, oh, perfect. Not even a big deal. Let's get down from here. Uh, let's, let's, let's just go on and let's get down from here. Be nice if we could just get, there we go. Same thing. Dadgum core strength is ridiculous. Boom. Oh, that's kind of cool. I do like that animation. And it's immune to rope burn. So let's have a little throwing competition here. Okay. What I think I'm going to do, I've got two glow tails here. I'm going to pick one up here. I'm going to stand right here next to the S plus teleporter and aim somewhere around the top of that platform right there. I'm going to do the same th thing with that other uh, glow tail over there and I'm going to do the crab and we'll see who's got the better arm. Let it go. Boom. Oh my. <laughs> that looks absolutely ridiculous. Probably. Oh, it's like right at the edge of the water. Okay. Nothing. Kill that. You have to imagine that the crab is going to have like. Let's scoot back a little bit so it's fair. Claw's got to start right there. You've got to imagine that it's got the same. I mean, that the crab is going to throw a whole lot farther. That would be my thought. B Boom! Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say. I mean, we can go down there and look. But I'm going to go ahead and say that the crab wins. 
All right, so here's the first glow tail that we threw the Gigantopithecus. I mean, that's impressive. It's not crab impressive, but that's impressive. Let's see where the other glow tail is. I think I see it out there. Floating in the water. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's quite a bit farther, but it's not as big of a difference as I thought it was going to be. Come on over here, glow tail. Oh, we need to check out the swimming animation. What if it, like, does the backstroke or something? I would hate to miss that. All right, let's go ahead and gently send these guys on back to the base. <laughs> also, I wonder if this could throw wild creatures like the Carcanos can. We're about to find out. Get on back to the base now. All right. What's up, Dodo? <laughs> okay. I pinched a little bit too hard. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say that you can't pick up small creatures. That actually did a lot of, a lot of damage for just something that like reaches down to pick something up. My hands are too strong. I have smushed the dodo. All right, let's check out this swimming animation. Maybe it hasn't changed. Maybe it has. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, that looks about the same to me, right? It doesn't look too different. I like the animation. I mean, I wish it like, you know, did like, like swam like a, like a swimmer. But this works for me. At least it's not doggy paddling. And it's getting around in the water pretty well, actually. All right, so the last thing that we need to check out here, I'm trying to figure out how to do the armor degrading, how to check that out. So I think what I've done is um, the closest thing that I could really find in attack damage on average to the Gigantopithecus was the Dire Bear. And the Dire Bear is a little bit stouter. So what we got to do, let's check out the DPS on the two. I think I've got them pretty close. Hitting for 2840. DPS is... 3977. Let's check it out on this dire bear. Hitting for 28. Oh, shoot. Let that just reset one second. All right. We're hitting about 20 points less and a whole lot slower. So it was 2977. That's 2817. Let's use this other attack because it's actually a whole lot more powerful. But I don't remember. I don't normally like just go head up with dire bears. So I don't remember if they do the swipe attack in the wild. I want to say they don't. Let's see. God, that's a huge difference. Okay, we're going to have to see if it uses that attack. I may have to redo this. So, on the Dire Bear, I've got 346% melee. On the Gigantopithecus, I got 436. I need to remember 436. What I got to do is get me just maybe some primitive flak or something. And I'll go into uh, infinite stats. I'll unclaim these things. I'll tick them off real bad. And then we'll compare how long it takes them to break my armor. All right, so I've got all primitive flack on here. My, my hair's looking good. Looking stylish. All right, I think what I need to do now is just... Let me make sure I'm in infinite stats. And I am. I need to... You know what? I'm just see if I can maybe get rid of whatever's going to make me high over here. Okay. I should be safe from getting high. Now all I need to do is... Uh, options. Unclaim. Oh, God. Wait, 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 wait. Behavior. Uh, let's go to neutral. Now let's unclaim. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, hey, bro. Heard you wanted to break my armor and stuff. Not today, you ain't. Three attacks, four attacks, five attacks. It's hitting me for 30. We need to keep that in mind. Hello? 10... 13 attacks, 13 attacks, broke everything. And it, oh God, okay, okay, claim. Good Lord have mercy on my soul. 13 attacks, let's go get the Gigantopithecus. And we're back with the Gigantopithecus, all new set of flak armor. Let's make sure this thing is on neutral, like a so. <sighs> 13 hits is what we gotta beat. <laughs> uh. Oh, and it's hit me for the exact same amount, so that's good. It's hit me for 30. Nine hits! Nine hits! Oh, yeah. Make sure you stop and eat. Okay, cool. That, I'm not, I'm not angry at you. Yeah, take that dump, too. So it definitely degrades the armor quite a bit quicker, especially considering that 
it was hitting for the exact same amount. So anyways, guys, I think that's about all there is to <laughs> dead gum it. I think that is about all there is to cover with this thing. We covered the uh, the new look of it. We covered the new animations. We covered the fact that it can climb zip lines. We covered the fact that it degrades your armor. It's got the jump. It's got the throw. It can put creatures on its shoulder. Oh, no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. We got to get a baby one. I always get a baby one at the end of every episode with one of these. Let's go over there and breed them. 12 seconds. Oh, check out that belly. Oh, yeah, she's going to pop out a nice one. It's going to pop out a nice one. Be cool if it had some kind of mutation, but I'm not holding my breath here. See what they look like. Poop it out. Oh, oh, it's like super tiny. That's way more tiny than I was expecting it to be. Hey, little feller. Come here. You look just like your pappy, I think. Come over this way. <laughs> Hold on, man. <laughs> okay, I've never, I've never bred a child. Okay, it's just walking in the air. I've never bred a Gigantopithecus, but something... <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. No, something ain't right. Come here. Come here, little feller. Why are you walking in the air? Is this a thing? Are you just... <laughs> what is happening right now? <laughs> okay, I gotta put this on... Let's do this. Let's put it on the closest following. Okay. Come here, buddy. <laughs> What's wrong with it? It's feet are like super <laughs> This reminds me of like a hairy Oompa Loompa. So then it's just walking in the air. Maybe that's an oversight in the design. Maybe the babies are more compact than they used to be. You guys let me know. I don't I don't can I couldn't even tell you the last time I bred a Gigantopithecus. But anyways, guys. That's probably where we're going to call this one. If you have any more questions, make sure to let me know. Or if you have anything that you think that I overlooked, let me know that as well. If you found this video, that's just stop. No, I don't even want to look at you more. If, if, you, if you found this video the least bit entertaining or informative, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button as it does help me a lot. Make sure to swing by the channel because I do have an ongoing vanilla and aberration series going on right now that I know you will enjoy. And until we meet again. <laughs> Amen.